Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power y is equal to negative 6, 3, 1, 8. And we have to find the values of x and y. But before we begin, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. Now the question is telling us that when 3 to the power y is taken from 3 to the power x, the difference is negative 6, 3, 1, 8. So what this means is that 3 to the power x is less than 3 to the power y. In other words, 3 to the power y is greater than 3 to the power x. Now since we have equal bases, it means that this whole difference is caused by the exponent. And we can simply say that y is greater than x. Okay, now the question is, under what circumstance can y be equal to x? Well, y can be equal to x when a certain constant, let's say c, is added to x. Or, y can be equal to x when a certain constant, say c, is taken from y. Okay, now let's focus on this equation. We have y is equal to x plus c. So wherever I see y in this original equation, I'm going to put x plus c. So we have 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x plus c is equal to negative 6, 3, 1, 8. Okay? And this could also be written as 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x times 3 to the power c. And this is equal to negative 6, 3, 1, 8. Right. We have 3 to the power x here, and then the exact same thing is also here. So let's factor it out. We have 3 to the power x into 1 minus 3 to the power c, and this is equal to... Now, negative 6, 3, 1, 8 could also be written as 2, 4, 3 times negative 26. Okay? 3 to the power x is an odd number. Okay? Now, assuming that x equals 2, we have 3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power 2, and this is equal to 9. Okay? If x is equal to 3, we have 3 to the power 3, and this is equal to 27. And you can see that these numbers are all odd numbers. Okay? So we can conclude that 3 to the power x is an odd number. Alright? Again, negative 3 to the power c is also an odd number. But whenever you add 1 to an odd number, it becomes an even. Okay? So this whole thing over here is an even number. Now let's focus on the right hand side. Now from here we have 2, 4, 3 and this is obvious. It is an odd number. Then negative 26 is also an even number. Alright? So now from here let's compare even to even and then odd to odd. So we can say that 3 to the power x is equal to 2, 4, 3. Then 1 minus 3 to the power c is equal to negative 26. Now let's solve this one first. From here we have 3 to the power x is equal to 2, 4, 3 is also the same as 3 to the power 5. Now since the bases are the same, we can equate the exponent. So we have x is equal to 5. Now let's solve for c from this nice equation. We have 1 plus 26 is equal to 3 to the power c. So we have 27 is equal to 3 to the power c. And 27 could also be written as 3 to the power 3. And this is equal to 3 to the power c. So straight away we can say that c is equal to 3 since the bases are the same. Initially, we said y is equal to x plus c. Now, we know the value of x and we also know the value of c. So now, let's go ahead and then plug these values into this nice equation. We have y is equal to x is 5, so we have 5 plus c is 3. So we have 3 over here and this is equal to 8. So in all, we have x to be 5 and then y to be 8. So guys... I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next 
video.